Good morning, this is Timo Buske and you are watching Blit Photo Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to turn day into night with just three sliders. Blit Photo Tutorials. First of all I want to apply my standard workflow to this image because I want to get a nice um, starting point for the night shot later. Uh, so I'm going to, I think I will rotate this a bit clockwise. I want the fist rises more up to the sky, like so. And um, I think I'm going to crop this so um, the fist gets a little bigger um, in relation to the image size. Yeah, I like this better. Okay, um, now I want to achieve a um, rather contrasty image. So what I'm going to do is first the standard workflow, of course. Um, I'm going to desaturate completely and uh, I will bring up the contrast to maximum. It doesn't matter if uh, the highlights are completely blown out and there's nothing happening anymore in the shadows. We will care about this later. But I want to ensure to have the have a pretty harsh contrast here. Um, next thing I'm going to do is uh, I will add a negative vignette here to darken the background and let the fist pop out a bit more. <clears throat> so now let's recover the highlights and the shadows with the HDR tool. bit more for the shadows as usual. It, it's already looking artificial completely so it doesn't matter if we go a little higher here than I would normally do. This looks nice actually. Okay, let's do the sharpness then. I'm going to um, bring up the structure here. Let's zoom in to check what happens. I don't care if this are almost black and white here in those areas. Um, I just want to um, achieve a high contrast here, really. So the standard workflow for sharpening, radius to minimum amount to maximum. And I'm going to slowly increase the radius. This is a little too much. Okay, and I think I'm going to try something I normally don't do. I'm going to uh, add a little of clarity here. Uh, not too much. For those who are interested in knowing the difference between clarity structure and sharpening, uh, I will link a separate video I did about exactly this topic. Okay, so now let's do the colors. Um, I bring back the saturation just slightly. I think too much looks a little strange for this image, so maybe around negative 70 or so. And um, let's tweak the skin color a bit. So I'm going to just um, use the orange teal preset I did before. Also for this one there is a video I will link in the description for those who are interested in making this uh, preset by their own. So let's call orange teal uh, and push the skin tones a bit more to the red direction. And if we check before after here we see that uh, also the background is affected and I want the green tone back. So I'm going to cut the filter like here and you see the green is coming back now. Okay, um, this is a very good starting point I think. So let's do before after check. Before, after, much better mood and this is 
just this plain digital shot here. And what's uh, really good at this shot for uh, turning this into a night shot is that we don't care about uh, don't need to care about the background. We don't need to make sure this really looks good because um, the background is just blurry bouquet here. So uh, this is going to be an easy one. Okay, now as promised, the three magical sliders. Um, first of all, uh, I'm going to. Whoops. I'm going to clone this variant. And based on this, let's do the night filters. Um, okay, night obviously is darker, so uh, I'm just going to uh, lower the exposure. And um, what we need to do here is to make to um, create a bluish tint here. So I'm just uh, lowering the um, color temperature to around, I don't know, maybe 2K or something, which looks weird at the first time, uh, but we can, I want to ensure this is really bluish. Um, and we can uh, make this a bit more natural by lowering the saturation. And boom, there you have your night shot. Before, after, or let's say here, before, bright day shot, after, be like a nice zombie shot here. <laughs> okay, um, I hope you liked the video and uh, thanks for watching. Lit Photo Tutorials. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please support me by subscribing for more videos, spread this out to all your friends, like and comment. And of course, if you want to watch me blittifying one of your raw files, please upload it somewhere and send me a link to blit at timobuske.de. I will put everything you need to know into the description. Stay tuned and keep watching.